Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jess Coco and um, I'm just shooting out videos today. I have kind of made a conscious effort to leave my TV off a little bit um, so I could clean up, but of course <laughs> I get distracted. So yeah, very distracted. I apologize for my music. I should have turned my iPod off, but it's in the, it's in the other room and um, I started doing this and realized my nails were wet, so I didn't want to mess with that. Anyway, um, let's get to it because I want to be able to talk about each of these colors individually. The first, what I'm going to do, this is, let me first start by saying, this is going to be my video on um, nude colors for women of color that are church appropriate, interview appropriate, um, just nine to five corporate appropriate. Um, I'm doing this because I have a meeting where I'm meeting people for the first time. Um, and even though it's going to be casual Friday when I meet these people, I still kind of want to, you know, be professional. And the color that I had on was a little bit bold, but I like bold, but I just kind of wanted to tame it down just a little bit. You know, I'll probably do very neutral makeup, very neutral lip, very soft cheek. Um, I just want to kind of, my whole look to be kind of soft. Um, so... The first color I'm going to talk about, all of these are colors that I think that you can still get um, some form or fashion, whether it's Amazon or uh, Sephora, Ulta, um, any place that sells OPI, MAC, um, and any place that sells Essie. So yeah, I think I hit all the, and Avon, so I hit all the uh, brands here. The first color is going to be um, San Antonio. And that is a gorgeous tan color. And I am wearing it here. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to do this. There we go. That's what... There we go. That's what that color looks like on me. very nice and natural and that's it kind of far away um I don't really have anything to put it up against to kind of show you um but that's it let's see if that'll there you go um and that was a color that came out in their um colors across America or something like that the next color is going to be Jazz. I mean, I mentioned this in one of my summertime videos, I think. Of course, I got it for the name. Um, and it does not hurt that it's a very, actually a very pretty polish. Um, it looks very light in the bottle to me compared to um, just kind of the look that I'm getting right there on my finger. But I think it's a very, very, very pretty, um, appropriate color. That freaking light. There we go. That's it right there. So it's a very nice, soft, um, color that I do like. Um, like I said, I think it's excellent for interviews. I, I think it's a pretty color. Didn't think I'd like something that toned down but it's very very pretty the next color is going to be coco clay and i think this came out in the mac me over collection i believe i'm not sure so please don't quote me on that and i'm not flipping you off but here's that color and that's pretty much it true to color on my middle finger there it is. So, very pretty color. Now, the next color is a very light color. It's called Ballet Slippers, and it is by Essie. Um, it's so, sort of a white, milky pink color. And there it is right there. Because the top is so light. Let me see if I can. There you go. That's that right there. That's a nice, pretty color for a brown girl. Um, like I said, it's kind of a milky white color. 
um, so you don't get that stark white because it has a little tinge of pink to it. So I think it's very, very pretty and very nice. I actually got this free with my Ulta bonus points. The next color is called Under My Trench Coat. <laughs> and this is a clay color polish with silver sparkles. On the nail, it actually looks a little like golden sparkles to me. And of course, you're not going to be able to see the sparkles. But that, I think, is a very pretty nail color. The next color is going to be, be Mink Muffs. And everyone has seen this. This is by Essie. And that's that color right there. Oops, I'm sorry. So it's kind of a dark, um, a dark latte color, so to speak. The next color is going to be an OPI color, Fiji Ouija Fawn. Um, I got this for two reasons. Um, on a previous video, I did tell you how much I love Mary J. Blige and Beyonce. Um, it always takes me a while to say their real names separate because I kind of was, I have a friend joke that when I have my daughter, a daughter, not, I'm not pregnant now, but when I have a daughter, um, a name that I'm going to combine those two to make. So I always want to say it just because I'm used to joking with them and saying it. So please forgive me if I sound a little bit like, I don't know what I'm about to say, but it's because I'm about to combine those names and you all are going to look at me like, or think, what the hell is she talking about? Anywho, but her um, organization is called Fine, so that was one reason why I got this. And I thought it was a pretty soft color, and um, it kind of, the polish kind of represented to me what her organization is about. And it's pretty much um, being an advocate for women who are trying to, you know, kind of get back up from their struggles. So this is definitely a color that I would recommend, you know, that a woman who's trying to get back out in the workforce, trying to get back into, you know, getting, being a productive, you know, contributing citizen of society as far as, you know, job goes, this would be a really pretty color for, you know, someone who's into, who wants to get into that. So that's that color. And it's just like a pearly, fun, tawny color to me. Very nice. Um, during my daytime job, I'm pretty much, um, I work in like a career placement, career, career resource to, uh, sort of um, nonprofit organization. So, you know, we often are talking to people about how to dress for interviews, how to carry yourself, how to be professional, you know, how to kind of tone it down a little bit. Um, just from your day to day, um, because it's fine to have fun day to day and be whoever you are, you know, no matter if you have purple hair, pink eyelashes, um, you know, and blue lips, be you. But when you're going to do an interview, you kind of want to tone that down just a little bit, unless you're going into some sort of career where that's going to be accepted. And that's like, oh my God, that's fabulous. You must have blue lips when you come here and work every day. So that'll be great. Um, but yeah, we just kind of teach, you know, people how to give them skills and, you know, help them build their confidence back up. Um, the next color is a Avon color and it is called Cozy Brown. And this one is, um, like I said, under my trench coat has silver sparkles in it. This shimmers in it, excuse me. This actually has gold shimmers in it. And that's that color right here on my middle finger. So, very, 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 very nice color. Um, very comparable to Mink Muffs, except Mink Muffs is a cream. And this is, like I said, it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So, it really just depends on, you know, the look that you're going for, what you like. So, let me know if you tried out any of these polishes. What do you think? Um, what are some of your favorite nudes that I might want to try? I love nail polishes. So um, I'm kind of on a band for right now, but I promise I'm going to give away five and maybe collect two more. So for every five I give away, I'm going to collect two. So thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful evening.